It's Friday morning. I'm just getting my arse out of bed. Holy crap, just fed the animals, and welcome to my vlog. It's yet another chilly day out here, and uh, what can you do, right? What can you do? Not too friggin' much. Just gotta go with the flow. Looks pretty gloomy out. Um, yeah, I'm inside, but uh, it's all gray in the sky, so it'll probably get rain tonight. Right on. That was sarcasm in case you didn't clue in. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go through the comments on yesterday's video, do the whole comment on comment thing. I'm assuming there was a problem uh, people were having with uh, commenting because uh, I'm seeing a lot of spam comments here, so they probably got a lot of of errors while trying to send this crap through and stuff and all because of YouTube's doing some stuff. I know uh, Catpiss contacted me yesterday and went, what the hell's wrong with YouTube? Are they doing something because things are weird and different and I don't know what the frig they're doing but uh, <sighs> judging by how many comments I have here that are set, this comment has been flagged as spam. I'm assuming they've been doing a lot of dicking around so I'm going to go through these and, uh, and friggin reply to them and stuff and we're going to just carry on with that and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh yeah, we got got flyers today. Woo! Flyer day. Alright, well I got just dicking around with those batteries trying to get the connectors on. It's not freaking working. Having a hell of a time, so I'll have to pick at it some more. Um, I gotta go up to the garage and get some shit, so let's go. There we go, I just grabbed a better pair of cutters. So I'm gonna get at least two batteries done, so that if we do go out tomorrow or Sunday, we can romp the living shit out of the truggy. That's if Catpiss gets his struts in, otherwise he's frigged. But, uh, yeah. Being a bitch to solder, but we'll get her. We'll get her. Alrighty, well I just got battery number two done, so right on. At least that means now I can romp my truggy, but um, I don't even know what time it is here. Currently it's 1.30 p.m. I'm gonna go make some food. I'm freaking starved. So I turned off my soldering iron. I'm gonna make some eggs. So let's go hammer down. So we got a nice big egg going on here. Some toast. More toast. Gonna be awesome. Check out what the girlfriend's uh, work gave her for IT Appreciation Week. And they gave them a bunch of these jelly bellies. A little freaking jar full of them. Freaking awesome. She also got the uh, Nerd's Guide to Troubleshooting. And that's pretty a funny, pretty funny shirt. So. You know, company she works for, freaking awesome. They do so much stuff for their employees and treat them right. And they're not even unionized. It's dick. Alrighty, well, got my breakfast here, or lunch, or whatever the freak you want to call it. I'm gonna go eat this, watch a bit of Star Trek, and then get flyers done. So let's hammer down. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna do... Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales, so much sales, love the sales. Gotta love that tune, right? Yeah, I know. Let's start off with Future Shop. Exciting stuff, as always. They're doing a three days of savings, so let's see what's going on there. Yeah! Second Gen i5 uh, MacBook here for 1200 bucks. Not bad. 249 for a PlayStation 3. Comes with uh, Gods of War. Right on. Holy crap, they got a Sony 46 inch friggin' TV here. 3D TV to boot. Thousand bucks. Nice. Still got to see that movie. Freaking Panasonic 3D surround sound Blu ray system thingamajig for $269. Nice. 32 gig class 10 for 50 bucks. Holy shit. That's a micro SD too. Nice. 47 inch LED LG TV for 600 bucks. Awesome deal. And of course, they're promoting the new iPad. It's surprising when I was in there a couple days ago, they still had a bunch of these left. Right on. Well, I didn't know Future Shop sold luggage, but apparently they do. Huh. Still thinking about picking up one of these guys. Just so I can use my old iPod apps. Or, or iPhone apps. You know. I'd probably get that one there, the 32 gigger. Beats by Dre. Didn't realize there were monster headphones. Right on. 179. Not bad. 
Looks like they got their new Sony high definition camera out. 25 times optical. That there's the HDR CX190. Not bad. Holy crap. It's the friggin' SX260 with 20 times optical zoom. That's insane. Friggin' 16 gig class 4 for 30, uh, for 25 bucks. Or sorry, class 6, sorry. That's pretty decent. The Mac Airs are on for 50 bucks off on the uh, both models here. The i5, I uh, don't know if it's 1.6 gigahertz across both, but uh, I believe so. Not bad. Yeah, starting to think they're doing a Mac uh, refresh real, real friggin' soon because usually when Future Shop starts putting these things on sale like this, it's to get rid of them before the new ones come out. Oh, that's cool. The Yeti USB microphone apparently now will connect to the iPad through the camera connector kit. Same microphone I have right there. Right on. A really cheap but well performing laptop by Toshiba with the A6 Vision processor. Yeah, it's got an APU, so that's why it has that HD 6520 video card. Not bad. The Samsung Galaxy Wi Fi tablet here, 16 gigs for $349 comes with honeycomb oh there's my uh, tablet there the Acer Iconia sweet two terabyte hard drive USB 3.0 150 not bad 32 gig Lexar friggin USB drive 35 bucks that's a decent price so you trade in five games and get a free iPod touch that's funny the new Kobo uh, Vox here is on sale for 174 it's like a tablet, but don't expect rocket ship speeds out of it. That's an amazing price. Bloke, if you're watching this, this is an amazing price for a desktop computer for you, bud. Just letting you know. You know, after using Logies, I kind of sort of want this Keurig. Mine takes about five minutes to shit out of coffee. Logies, maybe 30 seconds. I like this one. This one's nice. Uh, they still got a wicked deal going on here with the 32 gig cards that I bought for both the camera I'm using right now and my GoPro. 40 bucks, not bad. $50 iTunes card for 39 bucks. Talk about savings, eh? Yeah. Alright, let's move along on here to uh, Staples. Apparently that was easy. And they're once again doing the new iPad. Same price as Future Shop, pretty much standard. Ooh, the special edition Keurig. It's got more buttons and a screen. I like that one. 100 bucks for a really shitty tablet. I've uh, played with this thing. It's not capacitive touch, it's resistive. It's okay, but don't expect it to perform like the big ones. I got mine cheaper. But yeah, this is still pretty sweet. Pretty good price. 16 gig pen drive for 15 bucks. Not bad. 32 gig friggin' memory card here on sale for uh, 30 bucks. That's a real good deal. I think this is the webcam with the Carl Zeiss lens and it does a really good video. I think. Same headset that Crazy Logie's using, the H800. Not bad. Pretty good price, I guess. 16 gig Kingston Class 10. 1998 or I'd say 20 bucks. Nah, look at those mice. Yeah, those are friggin' mice. I don't know if they're wireless checking. Yeah, wireless mouse and it's a car. That is funny. I'd like to get that chair for this office because the chair I'm on right now is about ready to fall apart. It's not a bad price too. Alrighty, so we're gonna move along to uh, Canadian Tire here and see what kind of deals they got. Nice little barbecue here for $189. Gotta buy a propane tank for mine yet. <laughs> I'm lazy. That looks like a good deal for a hammer drill, eh? F about 50 bucks for it. And you get the whole kit and caboodle. Right on. That kind of looks like my barbecue. Except for mine's not a master chef. Been tempted to get some of these for the backyard just to throw more light down the yard. Wonder how well they work. 
that's what I need is a dethatcher to dethatch my backyard. I'd rather get it in gas so I don't have to plug it in, but cool. Ten bucks for some metal cutoff wheels here or something like that. I'm saying nine nine eighty eight, but I guess for both for the hex shank drill bit set and for the uh, metal cutoff wheels. Right on. Well, I need to get a vise for my bench out in the garage. To make life a lot easier. 42 inch LCD TV for 389. That's not a bad price. A whole bunch of camping gear here. Tents and tents and more tents. That's intense. And that's pretty much all I found in here for flyer day. Flyers were kind of weak this week. We didn't get any uh, source flyer, so. Oh well, we'll just carry on with the uh, day and uh, see where we go from here. But if we got two batteries down, I have no idea how to test them. Um, probably going to grab my voltmeter and connect them up and just see if they're throwing the right voltage or any voltage and we'll go from there. Alrighty, well, it's getting late. It's time to head her off to work. I'm going to get my shit and get out there. Okay, so for today's video of drive to work, we're going to do something different. I want to see how well this works out. Here's my car. There's my GoPro. That's right, we got the GoPro coming out of the sunroof. Hope it doesn't rain between now and work. We're gonna see how well this works. Let's do it. drive there I took the scenic route and came to work so I'll give you guys a little bit more of a, a little tour around the city so anywho so I'm gonna head her inside and get on with my night and I will talk to you guys on my next break peace alrighty well it's break time just coming out for my smoke and a walk well we got the news what the ministry's plan is and it's right cocked the government wants to sell the company bom, bom, bom. They, um, back in 2002, I believe it was, when I first started working here, the government tried, uh, wanted to do the same thing, and then we restructured and started bringing in money and stuff, and they kind of decided to keep it. Well, it was actually the Liberals who decided to keep it. And, uh, this election, the PC government said, hey, if we get in, we're going to save the ONTC and all that stuff. And sure enough, the PCs get in. What's pretty crappy about that is, uh, rather than trying to save the company, they decided, nah, we'll just sell it, you know. So... I don't know when that's gonna happen. Probably well, definitely won't be an overnight thing. It's gonna be like way down the road when that's gonna happen. Yeah, they're putting it up for grabs. And the thing is, is a lot of companies like Eastlink and Kojiko and other networks use us as a backbone to uh, basically transport data. So I can see like a big company like Eastlink deciding to buy us out. But uh, if they do, well, they already have a help desk. So I don't see them wanting to keep us working here as a help desk nice if they did but uh yeah you know and the other option is is back in the day when we were up for grabs telus was interested in buying us and uh getting some uh establishing some some uh communications in the north here and trying to get a little bit more get the foot in the door and turn into the eastern canada because right now in western canada telus is the shiznit and bell's a joke well now they kind of want to move over here right so I could even see them maybe buying us out, but uh, everything's going up for sale. The old Ontario Northlanders and you name it. Kind of depressing, everybody's on edge right now. I know I was chatting with a couple of customer service agents there and they're freaking out. People in the help desk are freaking out. 
you know, all that stuff, but it's kind of upsetting at the same time because uh, I kind of sort of don't want to lose my job, and, but uh, I'm sure I can find something else around here. And, you know, worst case in Ontario, sell everything and just frig off somewhere. Like my buddy was saying, he goes, you know, if worse comes to worse, and you can always go and do the contract work as a laborer. It's kind of, you know, not in my field, but it pays good money. But you're basically gone for uh, two weeks, and you're back for two weeks, you're gone for two weeks, you're back for two weeks. You know, I don't... I'd probably just be like a hauler or something like that, and that would kind of suck, but it pays good money. The other option is, is if I can get in with the government doing computer work, that'd be all right too. Like we have the help desk here in town. So, yeah, I don't know. Shit's dicked. Shit is dicked. So, my new battle plan is uh, just to uh, see what happens. Keep on keeping on the way I do and uh, go with the punches, I guess. Shit hits the fan. Well, they can't just say, all right, guys, you're done. Here's your last paycheck. Have a nice day because we got a lot of money. All of us have a lot of money invested into the company, so they would have to buy us out somehow and pay us some sort of a severance. And, you know, our ONTC pensions would be cashed out and we'd get that back. So I could go for a while on EI before shit got really stressful and then, uh, you know, go from there. But, uh, yeah, could be pretty dicked. Things are gonna get really, really interesting from here on in, boys. It's gonna be a slow process, but uh, we'll see what they make of it. But any I think my 15 minute break is over. Had a good little strut there. I'm gonna head her back inside, keep doing that, and uh, carry on with the night. So, Frig, talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Alrighty, well, I got a lot of reports in that apparently yesterday's vlog was kinda cocked. Apparently the audio was all out of sync and out of things, and I don't know. I edited it last night, uploaded it. When I went into the bedroom today to check to see how the upload was doing, it said it was done, but there was an error with the uh, processing. And then we booshed. So um, I checked the YouTube and the video was there. I clicked on it, it started playing. You know, I checked the, the comments. People were saying that it wouldn't run for like three hours or something like that. So I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know where the problem is, but uh, I'm not gonna re-upload it. I'm just gonna leave it where it is. And uh, hopefully tomorrow's vlog will be in better shape because I have no idea what the frig happened there. But uh, yeah, so far it's been a pretty decent night. It's actually been pretty busy, so that's all right. And uh, I guess I uh, have no idea what's going on for the weekend, but Next weekend I'm working it. I got a cover for Bruce because he covered for me for Thursday, Friday when I was down in Logie Land. So right on. So I'll work for, uh, I got to work next weekend. Oh my God, not again. Oh, Jesus. That's like for this friggin' video. That's not good. That's, that's really not good. But uh, yeah, so all in all, should be all right. Friggin' don't know what we're gonna do this weekend, but uh, I know Cat Piss wants to go out romping sometime. Hopefully he got his struts in. Hasn't texted me to tell me any different, so here's hoping. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what we get into this weekend. As for me, I'm gonna head her back inside and I'll talk to you guys on my 10 o'clock break and we'll go from there. So until then, peace out. Alrighty, it's friggin' quarter after midnight. Just getting out of the office, weekend's here. Let's get into the car and set up the GoPro. Alrighty, so that's how I set it up from inside the car. Just kinda spider it around, stove it up there. That way there, if it falls off, well, it's not going outside the car, so that's a bonus. It's pretty much wedged between the screw there and the roof mount, so she ain't going anywhere. Well, I'm gonna head her over to the Hortons and meet up with the Rex. Let's friggin' do this. guys well I just got home from coffee with Rex didn't just sat around and talked and stuff you know how it is but uh, I'm pretty much gonna shut the video down here guys because it's getting late and you know 
I gotta go to bed because the weekend's here and stuff. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let's me know you like the video and well, frig, I like that. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. Leave them below in the comment section and I'll be sure to respond. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.